Today we'll be learning about the N word. N I. Wait, 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 no, 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 not, not that N word. The other N word. That's a whole nother video. Coming in here from Jim Natural. I'm just saying, how was it that Tommy Pickle from Rugrats kept an entire screwdriver in his diaper and nobody knew? Nobody knew? Really? Really? I think you need to lay off the wine. I think you need to mind your business. Excuse me. Hi. Ladies, I didn't mean to come over here and interrupt y'all's little powwow, but I just wanted to come over here and say how much I love y'all's hair. Can I touch it? Please don't. That's all right. It, it's just so... Oh, it's just so curly and, and so cute. Oh, oh it's just so <laughs> wonderful. It's just Stop so it. Wild Stop. And, 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 and coarse. And can you brush it? Are you able to brush? Th th that, that's fine. It's just, oh, it's just so pretty. It looks like it smells like cocoa butter. Oh, <laughs> oh no. It's just so wild. She's going to say it. No, and she's so not. Tight and, and so uh, nappy. <laughs> oh, no. I was rooting she's for you. We were all. Is she still standing there? Yep. Well, ladies, where I come from, when someone pays you a compliment, the polite thing to do is to say thank you. Y'all have yourselves a good day. Similar to the other N-word, some people are highly offended by it, while others embrace it. So with the surplus of a lot of people embracing the word nappy, it made me curious. So I decided to do some research on the origin of the word nappy. And you may be just as surprised as I was. Webster's Dictionary defines the word nappy as the British word for diaper. Hold on a second. Okay, Webster's Dictionary also defines it as hair distinctive of people of African descent and also defines it as having many tight bends and curls. So when did this word become offensive and why? Let's take a closer look. Damian Young posted an article that sheds light on this issue. Now the word nappy was originally made to describe the kinky hair texture of people of African descent. That wasn't meant to be offensive, but at the time there was this crazy misconception that being black was a bad thing. So the word began to be used as an insult and eventually led us to stuff like this. Some rough girls from Rutgers, man. They got tattoos and some hardcore hoes. That's a, that's a nappy headed hose there, I'm gonna tell you that now. So now that I know the true origin of the word nappy, I can totally understand why people use it and are proud to say that they have nappy hair. But something tells me if you don't have nappy hair, you don't want to be throwing around that word. Now, I'll be honest with you, it's going to take me a little while to recondition myself to um, embrace the word and see it as a positive just because all of my life has been a negative derogatory word. Um, if somebody were to call my hair nappy, I'd probably just be like, do you want to fight? Yeah. If somebody were to call my hair nappy, I'd probably still be offended by it. But I see, but again, I see why people are embracing this word and, and are happy to say that their hair is nappy. So how do you feel about the word nappy? Do you see it as a negative term or a positive one? Or are you still kind of stuck in the middle like me? Let me know. As always, thank you so much for watching. Stay inspired, stay empowered, and stay beautiful. Peace. Are you really about to say that for every video?